Hello YouTube, Eddie K3 here. Some of you may have seen in the news recently that in 2016, Polymer Notes will be introduced in the UK. In this video, I'll be putting the Polymer Notes to the test. Are they really better than paper notes? I'm going to be scrunching them up. With constant scrunching and folding, sometimes the fibres break down in notes and makes them prone to tearing. I'm also going to be putting them in the washing machine and then the tumble dryer because who hasn't accidentally washed some money at some point? I initially intended to use a British note and this Australian polymer note, but I decided they were too pricey to, um, I didn't want to lose, risk losing five or 10 British pounds. So I've acquired some Malaysian ringgits here. I've got the old paper one ringgit notes. And I've also got a new polymer one ring of notes. I've only got one of these, so if it doesn't get through the first test, this will be an incredibly short video indeed. Right, so first I'm going to be washing the notes. Handling my shorts, I've got these zipped pockets here so I can put the notes in, zip them up. And I know they won't come out during the wash. So that's the polymer one there in the left pocket, and in the right pocket, the paper one. In the washing machine, they go. Right, so I've got the shorts out, they're still wet, as you might be able to see. Let's see how the notes have done. First the paper one. Oh, not bad, not bad. Feels a bit delicate, I wouldn't... Let's try. That is some strength there. Mmm. Right. So not too bad. And the plastic one. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, oh wait. Right, so. <laughs> not bad. So the paper one still held up quite well. Um, but with some tugging and pulling it fell, fell, and fell apart. Plastic one. Not bad. Back into the pockets for the tumble dryer test. Will this polymer melt at the high heat of the tumble dryer? Right, so in they go in the tumble dryer. Right, so high heat. Right, it's out the tumble. It's still pretty hot, especially the zips. Let's see how the paper ones fared. Yep, still in half. It's not been put back together. And the polymer one has the high heat misshapen it in any way? By the looks of it, no, if anything, uh, the high heat has ironed out some of the crinkles that are in it. Structural integrity still intact. So far, so good for the polymer notes. Right, now on to the scrunch test. I'm going to scrunch up these notes for a few minutes and see how they fare. Right, 
Right, I've been doing that for quite a few minutes now. My palms are red raw. Let's see how we've done this one. This is normally what happens with fibers. I think because they're relatively low denomination, people just screw them off and chuck them in their pockets. And then, uh, you know, over a short period of time, apparently the, uh, the average lifespan of a five pound note is less than a year. And this is normally how you find them, tatty, like this, you know, they easily rip. They don't work in vending machines and things like that. Right, let's see how the polymer note has held up. Still pretty, it's pretty crinkled, but I can, I can see how this would last longer. I sort of feel the, um, the durability. Alright, speaking of durability, it's time now to put this one ringgit polymer note to the ultimate test. Can I tear it in half? Mm. Ah. It's been through the wash. I've scrunched it up. Right. I'm giving up. Okay, now I'm giving up. I cannot tear it in half. This I won't even I won't even bother trying. We know I'll be able to tear this in half. Right, so there we have it. Polymer notes do stand up to scrutiny. I welcome their introduction in the UK. Tell me what you think. Are you looking forward to the polymer notes? Do you already have them in your country? Do you like them? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like, rate, share, comment and subscribe. And all that good stuff. Cheers, see ya.